The planetarium's actually been around since 1962. It was, you know, part of the original math science building. Well, what we about, say, about 40 some years? Uh, we went to about, it was 2005 when we had a huge remodel uh, of the planetarium. We took out the old star projector, the old dome. Um, in fact, the, right, this post that's right here is actually the, uh, the original wall that went on across uh, that. And so we knocked out this wall that away, raised the roof, um, and uh, you know, put in a larger dome. Uh, we went from a 24-foot dome to a 36-foot dome and of course you know a bit more seats in here different sort of seating and of course a new star projector and a whole new uh, all dome video system so uh, basically in 2006 we had a, a new planetarium i've been here since uh, 1996 I enjoy the, um, the fact that I can really focus on the astronomy, but I really do enjoy the people I work with. Um, it's, and also, uh, a number of the students are, you know, really good, so I enjoy teaching. But, uh, you know, really the, the faculty and the staff that are here are just really top-rate, I mean, top-of-the-line uh, people that we have here. I think what makes us a little bit different is that we actually have a, a number of astronomy classes. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm full-time astronomy uh, professor and that usually you don't have that and certainly you don't have that uh, you know in most of your <laughs> other colleges and so we actually teach the astronomy classes in here um, and you know most other astronomy classes it's just going to be a your standard little square cube uh, classroom. I think I was uh, between the eighth and ninth grade, and that was when uh, the Voyager were going by Jupiter. So I was, uh, I was just seeing a lot of pretty pictures, you know, in the astronomy magazines of that, and also uh, Pioneer 11 was going by Saturn, you know, getting some really nice pictures uh, from that, and so that just really sparked my interest of like, well, I want to find out more about these things that are that are out there. And so then I just picked up any book I could find about, you know, astronomy related and just absorbed it all. You know, as long as you're doing what you enjoy doing, then uh, it really makes it worthwhile to get up in the morning. I'd say persistence is like 70% or more of the key to success. Not how smart you are, or how well you do at some of these things, it's just sheer grit. Uh, because even the, the smartest person is going to make mistakes. It, it really helps to find uh, someone that supports you, um, you know, particularly if you've got an instructor or some other staff person that you can really uh, sort of look on as maybe as a mentor, uh, but one that will uh, you know, give you a kick in the pants when you do want, don't want to continue going. Um, that, it really helps to have that.